This video is on how to add text to an image. So first thing we're going to do is open our image. I'm going to go to File, Open. And on my desktop I created a folder here called Chip Final Images. I'm going to look at the images. I'm just going to pick this one. And now we see our image here. What I want to do is I want to add text in this little blurb of this, this cartoon character here. So I'm going to say Layer, New, Layer. And I can name the layer if I want, but I'm just going to say OK. Then I'm going to click Text. And then I'm going to click in the blurb here. This is the little T is for text. I'm going to click in the blurb. I'm just going to select a size to start with. I'll start it with about 18. I'm going to come over here to my color swatch and just pick black over on the right side that you couldn't see, but I'm just going to select a color for it. And I'm going to say Type Text here. Then I'm going to come over here to the Move feature, and as long as I'm still in that text layer, I can move the text wherever I want. So there I have my text in the blurb, and I'm just going to say File, Save for Web. The actual size that you're seeing here is going to be the size that it is. Over here on the right on my settings, I'm going to choose uh, GIF. That makes the background transparent. A JPEG won't be transparent, but a GIF file will. Or you could also choose a PNG, but we're going to use GIF for this and make sure the transparency button is checked. So if, as long as you see a checkered background like that, then it's going to be transparent. And whatever background you have on your site will show through. And then I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to choose a folder. I'm just going to put it on my desktop and just say I'm going to add a 1 to this so I know that this is called half final 1 and then it, you can see it's in GIF format and I'm going to say save. So that's all there is to adding a text layer to that picture and then if I open on my desktop the one that I just saved called half final 1 and say open you'll see when I open it it has the text layer as 1 so now that's an image including that text layer that's all there is to it. Then I can take that image and drop it on my website or my blog.